Hello ladies, gentlemen and small fair creatures from Alpha Centauri. Welcome to my new office, our very uh, take a look at technology and sometimes disassemble stuff. Um, as you can see, this is totally not a green screen that's just, well, don't look out of my window. Um, yeah. Um, today we're gonna disassemble a microwave oven and uh, see what's inside. Uh, I have to warn you, um, be very very careful if you work with electrical appliances. This microwave oven is broken and uh, for safety reasons I have left it unplugged for a few weeks so uh, there should be no charge in the capacitors and stuff and especially when you work with microwave oven once you open it never ever use it again never plug it in because if something goes wrong uh, you're dealing with high voltage and also you're dealing with microwaves um, this one the, uh, the the thingy is broken it, it goes through the motions that it lights up that the uh, thing turns around but it doesn't heat the, the food but um, yeah if you get uh, the, the output of microwaves in your face you can go blind or die and that's not good so uh, let's get on with it. Uh, we, mm, I, I, I haven't opened it uh, before, so we might need some basic tools like, you know, a uh, cheap screwdriver and uh, soldering iron, uh, some snips. And if all fails, there is always the hammer. So. Okay, uh, let me move the camera and put the microwave oven on the table and let's get on with it. Okay, here it is. One ancient microwave. Ah, uh, from, from... Has no year, that's good. Okay, yeah. Let's see, uh... It's, uh... 700 watt model, uh, 2.45 uh, gigahertz, so it's the standard thing. Uh, mm, it and it's a bit dusty because it spent the last I don't know uh, month or two uh, uh, in the cellar uh, because it was broken. Um, it's one of those that isn't even digital, so it's, yeah, well, uh, it's a cheaper model. <coughs> but uh, I'm, I'm gonna look what's inside, maybe salvage some components. So, it's unplugged, has been for some days, so let's see. If See, there are some screws holding in the back. Let's see. <coughs> there are normal screws and there is a special one. But I think we can open that one too. Let's try this one first. Otherwise if you get stuck here there's not gonna be a video so I think this might work it's a bit tight but yeah it's, it's moving that's good it's a security screw that you can open with a cheap set of tools, it looks tools. It's uh, it looks tools like something like this. 
<coughs> from the local shop, so yeah. Maybe I'm not sure if you can see this. Probably not. Come on, focus. Yeah, that's some sort of security screw. If you like, they, they were even so nice as to put a diagram inside. So, in theory, they plan to do some make it serviceable by a technician, but yeah. With a nice transformer labeled high voltage, 4 kilovolt. That's nice. We got the switch, the timing switch with the ding. That's the screwdriver. I have this to tap. This this is the the bell. Here's a bell directly on the switch. That's nice. Sorry, problem. Yeah. Okay, eh, sorry, back. I spilled coke on my carpet as I do. Oh well, that wasn't good. Um. Yeah, let's see, you have an eye transformer for kilovolts, so yeah, that's that is uh, that's the four kilovolt and that should be uh the magnetron, yes that's the magnetron. That's another transformer for, or oh, no, that's a motor. Wait, what? It's a motor with, with an external coil. I'll pull it out and we'll take a closer look at it. Uh, here's the screwdriver. Never seen that before. Uh, but yeah, technically it makes sense that, that it's possible, but I'm not sure. Okay. It, it's probably not very efficient, but very reliable, is my guess. But can we get it out? It's a motor synchronous to uh, the 50 Hertz we have, I guess. So it <coughs> would rotate at a 50 or 25, I think 50 rotations per second, something like that. Uh, or 25. Yeah, and the contacts go only. I'm not sure you can see the contacts go here then you have the coil and I'm guessing that's just a more or less a permanent magnet yes it is so yeah I know uh, uh, can I go wider with the shot no I can't yeah, it's it's an interesting design. Yeah, bit old school, but 
basically since you <clears throat> don't have contacts and you don't have uh, electronics I, I would guess it runs directly from the mains let me magnetron transformer guess so let me check the wiring I think and I'm not sure if I, I, I understand this right but it might be in line with the magnetron or magnetron no it's it's in line or parallel with the magnetron so okay it's it's parallel to the magnetron so every time the magnetron runs the fan runs and cools this and since it's a very very fail safe uh, design so ex Except when, of course, that the coil has a problem. I can't imagine this dying before the magnetron. So it, this thing should always be cooled. That <clears throat> it's it's not very efficient design, but uh, I think it's it's a good failsafe. So, let's see what else we can pull. Okay. <clears throat> this thing here, what looks like a capacitor, is also connected to the, the, the housing, the, 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 the grounding. Uh, Housing is done through the capacitor. Oh, ah, yeah, sure. It needs to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not an expert. I'm, I'm not, you know, an electronics expert, but I think. The housing needs to be connected through. Okay. Where, where is it? Okay. We have the capacitor, which is a. Uh, which is a. Um, uh, okay. Let me disconnect this. Okay. So, one of those, and I can't remember which one uh, was connected to this port which is connected through this resistor I think RG606 uh, I think it's a resistor or a smaller capacitor to the case um, so I think I think this is um, uh, not only uh, for for uh, I'm not sure. Ah, yeah, it's it's also connected to the normal ground from from the power lead. But I think, and I could be completely wrong here, this is connected to the housing. So the so there is no uh, high voltage, high frequency um, um, on 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 the case, which which would not necessarily uh, um, get ma made safe by the, the the normal grounding, because it it's high frequency and. Even the power line might act as a capacitor and don't let it through, so uh, any uh, 
basically you're shooting radio waves and and then uh, uh, maybe charging up the housing and this gets rid of that in addition to <clears throat> I'm guessing acting uh, acting as part of the the, the frequency high frequency generation for the magnetron um, this seems to be a ballast or a coil. I'm not sure. Uh, then we have the, the, the high voltage capacitor going into the magnetron. Okay, I'm, I'm no electronic expert, but yeah. But if this thing is okay, it might be nice to play with. Okay, it's not it's not high frequency okay but it's a uh, 2100 volt uh, high voltage capacitor uh, yeah with 0.92 microfarads but two ki kilovolt capacitor and I'm not sure if you can hear it. There's a liquid inside. Not sure if that's normal or if it has failed. I don't know. Oh, but yes. So <clears throat> let's try to get rid of more stuff in there. <clears throat> I think the leads have now been disconnected. Okay, these are high voltage leads, maybe because they have additional insulation. And don't let themselves be removed. So now they're removed. Yeah, they have. They have interesting insulation. Not sure if you can see it. Come focus. Okay, that's. That's a textile and then there is more and then there is the, the rubber, plastic, whatever and then there is a very thin, thin, thin lead in there. So, <sighs> come on. Okay, die. Yeah. So Now, if you have ever wondered how light gets into your microwave, here. Technology from like a hundred years ago. <laughs> okay, that you have to see. Um, this thing was hanging in here like so in in here and it seems uh the company who made this um used the cheapest thing they could find because um 
which which seems to have run in mecha into mechanical problems because maybe I can remove this to show you yeah just give me a second yeah the company seems to have run into some small problems during testing because I'm not sure if you can see it but there is tape going from there to there holding the bulb in so instead of you know um, constructing it in a way that you know the bulb stays in you have, you have Basically, uh, uh, they have taped the bulb in so it doesn't fall out. Um, that's engineering, yeah, sure. And I'm guessing if you, you know, microwave something for longer and the bulb, bulb gets really warm, it will just fall out pop out and the next time you move the microwave because the the, the the glue has weakened and the light goes out in your microwave fantastic well oh well that's That answers also the question if is this a quality microwave? Nope. Or it could also answer if ah uh, okay. Did you put much thought into this? Yes. After someone maybe got electrocuted because the bulb fell out and I don't know. Um I don't under, I mean, I understand why they use, you know, old fashioned light bulbs instead of LEDs because, you know, these are brighter and these have a much shorter lifespan. So, okay, you probably think if the light doesn't work, the microwave is broken. So you buy a new microwave, uh, but yeah, it's, it's only this thing, and you basically have to remove a lot of stuff to get to it, and then you can't even pull it out out of the plastic because there is, you know. Okay, there's a transparent tape that, if you try to. Remove it, it seems to fall apart. Okay, I got it. Here. That's... That's the tape. That's holding this thing. Okay, it's screwed, so... Why tape? Okay, it, the, the fitting is so loose. If, if you turn it like a bit... It loses contact so okay now we know that here is the magic of 
microwaving your food it's a cavity magnetron basically you put voltage in microwave comes out and that heats your food or that makes the water molecules vibrate faster which is heat and which heats, heats the, the food yeah something like that that thing is dangerous never play with that I mean, everything here is dangerous, but that can make you blind. <clears throat> Let's see, can we get... I like to remove... Timer switch. Okay, we can get pretty much the whole module out. Okay. That's interesting. That is very interesting. I, w I thought, okay, the, the power is like a potentiometer or, or something like that. And that is, you know, basically an electromechanical timer that thinks. But it turns out the power setting also goes into the main timing unit. So I'm guessing most of the of the logic of the logic is in here in in this one switch and this is just to this is just to regulate that and frankly I'm not sure if I want to go open this because I quite like it and it might be useful for another project so I'm gonna leave this aside for a bit then we have the door safety module This look basically all like or mostly like the same screws you, or similar screws you would use on a PC. So I, I guess I, uh, you could basically mount the stuff in, in standard IT equipment. This is the safety module for the door. No, it's very unsafe. And basically, yeah, if, if the door is closed, let me move that, if the door is closed, it moves this switch and then I guess somehow this switch, so these two switches I guess must be on for the micro microwave to start otherwise if it's running and that's more of the of a problem if it's running and you open the door you get microwaved so these switches uh, I guess they're both need to be closed yes let's see the wiring um, are they okay they're in series 
I think. Let's see. Just try holding it there and closing the door. And. Okay, yes. Both switches need to be closed. So if one switch fails, if it fails open, your microwave is toast. If it fails closed, then it would be unsafe, except there is a second switch in series. So unless both of them short circuit, uh, the, the microwave is safe. And I, okay, there are actually three switches. Three switches, okay. And they all need to be, because there are two here on the lower end, there are two here, and one here, and they are all in series. And if one of them doesn't close, the door isn't closed, so, or the microwave thinks the door isn't closed, and ju it just doesn't start. I'm not sure now about the cabling because, yeah, well, I cut it, but I think all these three need to be closed before the high voltage transformer gets power. So nothing works if the door is open or if one of the switches is dead. So then we have. <coughs> Remove it, that is a nice power cord I want to definitely reuse because it's a power cord and at least in my area these things are expensive. So One complete power cord. If they're not broken, keep them. Okay. Yeah. So A rather generic power supply. Uh, it has a fuse. It says 250 volt 8 ampere. Uh, let me just calculate this real quick. Um, okay. It says, uh, basically it's a, it's a 2000 watt fuse. Um, the whole device is, what did it say, uh, 700 watts, so I'm not sure if it's over dimension, but frankly my whole house has like, I think, 20 ampere power into the whole house so 2000 watt for this puny thing I'm not sure if if 
this. Uh, I have my doubts. I have my doubts that the rest of the circuit would survive 6 amps. So, well. But I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But. <clears throat> yeah. Now let's remove. Don't remove the transformer. Sorry, sorry, you can't see anything, but I think the robot that, or Chinese worker, whoever put in these screws, didn't mess around. Um, let's try this one. Sorry, sorry. Um, okay, I removed the screws. Why don't? Ah. Needs more brute force. That's a nice, heavy transformer. It's. Here's the primary side, I'm guessing, yeah, and that's the secondary side with much more windings and high voltage. Might be good for some project. Putting this in the pro project box right away. The switches, magnetron gets disposed. There is just one more component I'm interested in that is if we even can get to it It's one, one more of this synchronous motors. Um, but I'm interested just in seeing if I'm right. I'm like that sometimes. We already destroyed the microwave oven, so we might as well go all the way so that we have to I know you're wondering how why I'm holding the screwdriver like this but with my hands it's the easiest way like probably have to remove the F door
chest. Use brute force and chest. The same result. Synchronous mode. Okay, yeah. That's right. And it runs on 240, which is a shame. Um, because it's hard to use. Anything that use, uses main, main power in, in something like an Arduino project because it's just too dangerous. Might as well take it out. Who knows? My decision not to remove the door made it a bit inaccessible, but problem solved. <coughs> there, on synchronous mode with the label falling off. Where is it? Oh, well, there. Well, synchronous motor with one non-sticky sticky label. There. So let's let's just review what we get out of this microwave. Just. And move the dead shit so we can take a closer look at what we actually get. One dodgy light bulb holder with probably working light bulb, maybe. Looks intact. Single phase synchronous motor with fan. Might be useful. Interesting timer unit. Uh, electromechanical timer with bell. Might use it in further videos. Another synchronous motor with a gearing. Actually, it, it's very slow speed. It's it's for the platter. One high voltage kill you all transformer. Dodgy power supply that certainly goes in the trash. Industrial switches, which need, still need liberation from the plastic. And I'm guessing these are 250 volt models. 250 volt! 16 ampere industrial switches. That's useful for many projects. One very dodgy, one very slushy capacitor for 2.5, 2.1 kilovolts. Yes, sir. So, and the rest goes in the trash. Thanks for watching. Okay, update. Um, first of all, I forgot, I also got this nice power cord, which complete with, with, with the, the thing here, strain relief, uh, good pack, so that's worth a few euros. 
and I also decided for the moment I keep the magnetron because it's a nice demonstration object and if I ever do something with the subject again I can use my own photos with the thing I made here but it's now totally safe it's completely safe nothing can happen because I added this nice label is here so everyone knows it's dangerous so nobody will ever plug it in right uh, well, uh, whatever um, bye